Coming through, 81333. We'll do that on the text. Okay? Okay. Right. Before the show, let's talk bed bugs. Things that go bump in the night. Bed bugs, bed bugs, bed bugs. Here we go. Before the show, I spoke to David Kane, managing director of Bed Bugs Limited, specialising in bed bug extermination. And the UK is dealing with more bed bugs as a result of the summer's hot weather. Experts say the problem is worse in densely populated cities. The bugs are increasingly carried by us from public places. Ooh, not just beds. Anyway, here's David Kane from Bed Bugs Limited. Bed bugs, the easiest way to think about them, they're an exposure pest. They feed on human blood. They're very unpleasant to have. But the good news is you only have bed bugs if you come into contact with a source of bed bugs. And a common source of bed bugs in a big city like Birmingham and Wolverhampton would be what? Well, the problem is, years ago, you'd only get them by staying in an unfortunate hotel. Nowadays, the problem has escalated year on year, and there's a lot of evidence that they're being transmitted around on public transport, in public spaces, um, everywhere from cinemas to libraries. So they're becoming a lot more everyday pest issue. So they've moved on from bed bugs to bugs, basically. Well, yes, I mean... We have a problem with the way that we name pests in general. So just because they're called bed bugs doesn't mean that they only exist in beds. So, for example, um, cinemas. How many cinemas do you know that have beds? Um, I appreciate there's a few airlines that have beds, but that's not where we're finding the problem with bed bugs on airlines themselves. So bed bugs initially were found in hotels or guest houses which weren't hygienic is that correct and then they would have been picked up by tourists on their skin and then they would have been transported back to the uk is that how it worked yes stroke no um technically bed bugs started when man lived in caves and they were a huge pest problem in society right the way up until the 1930s 1940s and then a mass education drive that said hey you only have bed bugs if you're dirty because we've got new DDT. And that's where the social stigma started. So they don't actually have anything to do with dirt, um, but invariably places that weren't looked after, checked and monitored uh, and inspected on a regular basis developed problems that tended to be the lower end of the hospitality market. But nowadays... Um, there's plenty of newspaper articles with lots and lots of five-star hotels having problems with bed bugs. Um, it's kind of broken out from its original source, and it now spreads the um, the social divide. Mm. I mean, I know lots of people who are incredibly wealthy individuals who've been exposed to bed bugs at a hotel in New York, and equally, I see a lot of cases that are multiple stories up in high-density social housing. Mm. How do you know you've got them, David? Sorry? How do you know you've got them? Well, initially people think um, you must be bitten and therefore you'll have signs on your skin. Um, But the reality is 60% of people don't initially respond. So you can have the problem without being aware of it. So it becomes about looking when you travel and also inspecting your own bed looking for the physical signs of the the insect themselves, their cast-off skins and their faecal traces. And they're visible, are they, the the skins and their faecal traces? Oh, absolutely. A bed bug, when it hatches out of an egg, is about two millimetres in size, and a fully-fed adult is is close to 15 millimetres. Wow. They're completely visible by people, but as society, we've got out of the habit of checking our beds on a regular basis as they used to do in the past, because the problem had been thought to have gone away. It's now come back with such a, uh, an vengeance um, that people need to get back into those old habits again. As a specialist bed bug exterminator, how do you exterminate bed bugs? Um, it depends very much on the situation. Um, Our approach is to inspect and identify what's gone on, try and work out how they've been brought into the property. We then have a completely green method that's based on using a superheated steam disinfector, some residual organic material, and our Passive Plus monitoring system. 
but then we educate our customers so they understand the problem, it reduces the anxiety, we lose the stigma, we take them step by step through what they've got to do based on what's going on in their home and also to teach them how to avoid contact in future. There you go. And rather appropriately, what happens after you get bitten by a bad bug? Yes, you get this. 